Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 27 of the Daily UI and we're creating a drop down. So I'm going to do this one live with you guys. It's going to be a pretty simple design. So the first thing I'm going to do is this is going to be for a user profile. So we're going to have a circle icon with our profile image and we're going to select that and it's going to give us our option. So on this, I'm going to drag in a face. There we go. And let's apply a border of three to this change it to a white color and then on the shadow I never really changed the color of the shadow but today we're going to change it to a gray color color code on that is CF D DC and I'm gonna change this to around 72 percent opacity and for the Y I'm gonna put it as zero and then the blur I'm gonna change to 30 so we have this nice subtle gray drop shadow on our icon. Alright, so let's size this thing up just a little bit. Let's go, uh, let's try 100. Yeah, that's a decent size. Alright, so I'm going to leave that there and let's create our first uh, rectangle where our information is going to go. So this is going to have uh, something like my profile in it. Uh, let's change the height on this to 90 and then the width I'm going to go with 400 even probably. Okay, and this is going to be a placeholder. And so inside this, we're going to put my profile. I'm going to change the color. And the gray I'm going to be using is 455A64. It's a blue gray color. Whoops, delete that. All right, so I'm going to drag this into position and space it 40 from the side 10, 20, 30, 40. Looks good. And I'm just going to copy this a few times and kind of position this where it needs to be. So there's our second one, third, fourth. I think four might be good for now. So this one I'm going to have something like notifications. Notifications. And then let's do, uh, let's do projects. So this might be some kind of design management app or something and then settings and I'm actually gonna add one more gotta have that sign out button so let's do log out so those boxes were just created to get us some good spacing and so we can align things that we need to inside of this so the first thing I'm gonna do is this one is gonna be selected so I'm gonna change this to a blue color my blue color code is 2196 F3 and I want to also mark this with a rectangle possibly. So let's just make a rectangle here. And let's go 10 on the width. And I'll leave the height uh, 90 to match our box for now. And let's change it to our blue color. So we have something like that. Obviously this is overlapping this border, but we're not going to have these visible here in a minute. So that's okay. Uh, for the notifications, instead of doing like a circle uh, to show that we have notifications, that we need to check. I'm going to do a rectangle and then border radius that all the way. And let's size that down just a bit. Okay. So I'm going to put that 40 from this side as well and center it up. There we go. And this is going to be a red color. My color code is F44336. It's a nice flat red color. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller there we go and then let's just put 04 so we can have up to 99 updates and then plus that I mean we don't need the exact number you just have a ton of updates to check so I'm gonna change that to white and let's make that font slightly smaller something like that that looks pretty cool okay and so now I'm gonna create a box that's gonna go around these rectangles and this is gonna be uh, pretty much the overall drop down box. So let's size that up. And I'm going to send that to the back. Then I'm going to select all these rectangles and I'm just going to turn off the opacity on all these, or just hide the layer, I should say. And let's add a slight border radius, maybe five. No, uh, 10. That looks good. And so we have a border radius on this. I'm actually going to change the sizing. Let's try like 70. 
and then I'm going to center that back up. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And we're also going to now apply the same drop shadow we have on this. So I'm going to remove the border. On the color, I'm going to change it to that gray we used earlier. And I'm just going to do the same settings, so 0 on the Y and 30 on the blur. And so we have something like that. Alright, so now I'm going to extend this down slightly so we have some more spacing below our logout button. That's a nice clean little touch you can do. Uh, it kind of removes some of the structure out of it and it looks very nice. And then let's also make this a little bit smaller. So this doesn't need to be so thick. Maybe 8. Um, I'm also going to lower the height on that like maybe 60 and then let's try 6 width it's a little too too bold on the font I'm actually going to change this font to around 26 yeah and so I'm gonna need to turn all these back on so we can center that up so I'm just gonna go through and do that really quickly using my alignment tools over here on the right holding shift to select both there we go and so this I'm gonna change this back to 70 and then let's hide this one and see how that looks let's drag this up so we can have a little bit more spacing from the border radius, I don't want it to touch this, and that's kind of what it's doing. That looks a little bit better. So I'm going to grab all these and hide them as well. There we go. So this is coming along. Let's add a underline to separate all of these now. So let's go turn this one back on really quick. Drag out a line. And I'm going to go from this edge, so that's 40 spacing from this edge, to this edge which is 40 from this and then on the border let's change it to the gray and then let's drop the opacity somewhere around 30 probably would look nice and then I'm gonna turn this rectangle back off yeah so we have a nice little underline I'm just going to drag that down so we have some spacing like that I'm gonna turn all these rectangles back on just to make sure that these are just right. This one's a little off. And this one's off. Hide all of those again. A lot of hiding and unhiding on these. And I think that's almost done. Now let's add the point to this. So I'm going to drag this over so these edges align. And let's do probably 30 on the spacing in between that. And I'm just going to grab a square and rotate it nine, or 45 degrees, not 90. And then I'm going to place it so that the point lines up to the center of this. And let's go somewhere around there. I'm going to turn off the border to see what this looks like. A little bit more. I'm just moving this around to get the uh, width of the point that I want up a little bit more I think that's just right so I'm gonna grab these two and unite them into one shape and there we go Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.